good morning good night good afternoon good evening i don't know what's going on outside this mighty air bus a380 but it's like 12 right now 12 a.m or 12 p.m i don't know we're just flying over moscow and i'm again off to us for my another epic solo road trip covering the whole state of colorado the food is ready let's go have the food and then we're gonna talk I would have almost failed to do this trip because actually there is a super cyclone hitting Bhubaneswar. Thankfully my flight from Bhubaneswar to Mumbai was yesterday in the morning and then I came to know that almost all of those flights after that were cancelled. I mean it was scary. I mean I don't get it why every year we have to face this shit. I just don't get it. I mean the only thing which you can do is abuse and pray. So I reached Mumbai yesterday in the morning, then checked into the hotel, ordered food, worked in the hotel whole day and night, haven't slept because my flight to Los Angeles from Mumbai was at uh, 4.30 a.m. I had to check into the airport by like 1 a.m. And so it's going to be like Mumbai to Dubai, then Dubai to Los Angeles, then Los Angeles to Chicago, then Chicago to Denver picking the car at Denver and then the whole road trip starts. So coming back to the point about why I always choose the Emirates A380 whenever I'm flying to the US, the short answer is going to be comfort and the experience. Actually, I'm not flying to Los Angeles. I'm flying to Chicago. I mean, the final destination is Chicago, but I have taken the flight to Los Angeles for a reason. Emirates do not fly the A380s directly to Chicago. They fly the Boeing 777 and I've already flown with the Boeing 77 when I was traveling to New York and it was just so freaking painful for 17 hours. Man, that was so long. So I'm actually, well, Emirates is only flying the A380 directly to San Francisco and Los Angeles. So I'm actually taking the flight from Mumbai to Dubai, Dubai to Los Angeles, both are Emirates A380 then taking a separate domestic flight to Chicago. Ooh, I just reached Los Angeles at 4.30 p.m. Slept in the airport for like four hours. Got my flight off Chicago by 5 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. Reached Chicago just now, which is 1 a.m. right now, and it's just so cold. Checked in the hotel. It's right on the Chicago look, the main street of Chicago. And look around me. Wow, I just need to go ahead sleep. Make some Maggie. It's cold, super cold. It has been raining in Chicago last three or four days, but it's calm today and next three or four days forecast looks good as well. So coming back to the point about why I always choose the Emirates A380 is I normally always book the economy because it's cheap and it's super affordable as well and I just go in and check with the check-in counter if they have any upgrade options for the business class if it's reasonable I go ahead and do it if it's not it makes no sense to spend so much of money because yeah I don't even sleep for more than four hours or five hours for a long 17 hours flight so it makes sense and and the second best part is for every economy seat, you get a charging point for laptop and mobile both. The IC entertainment screen is so huge, makes it feels like you are watching TV at your home. Food options, almost all of the food options are Indian options and the best part is the unlimited mango juice. And now the most important thing, the internet connection or the internet service in flight. I have flown with most of the famous airlines like British Airways, Lufthansa, Cathay Pacific, Etihad, KLM Airlines, almost none of the airlines provide perfect internet service, but for Emirates, it just works. But it's again expensive, it's like $16 for 500 MB, but if you are someone who is using an Emirates Skywards membership, you can get it for like $11. I normally always go ahead and do that. Uh, this is the hotel, 1303. All right. Welcome to the room, let me give you a tour of my room. 
The hotel name is Comfort Suite. It's right on the Chicago Loop. Bathroom. And the main living room. Kitchen. Nice table area to have the food. So far, my table to walk, edit. TV. Gotta sleep for the night. And now how do I plan my long haul flight? So for example, this was like 16.2 hours of flight long. So normally what I do is I sleep for like four hours, two hours in the start and two hours towards the end. Then like five or six hours of scripting the videos for the next B-roll sequences. And then three or four, five hours of movies, like two or three movies, nine hours of work, scripting, replying to the emails because I normally always have the internet and then like four or five hours of sleep. So that is how it works and 17 hours or 16 hours, it doesn't feel long. So that is normally how I spend my whole long haul flights without getting tired. So that's it for today guys. I'm already tired flying for last 30 hours. Wow, got to go have some food, edit the video, upload then sleep. So see you guys tomorrow.